This weather is feeling a little bit Christmassy still, isn't it? Oh, very much so. Yeah. A very warm up, so. though, is in store for the new year. That's what we're hearing. Temperatures by late week are expected to trend to 10, 15 degrees above normal. We got Ooh. meteorologist Jason Michael here to break it all down for us. Jason, how are we looking? Yeah, it's still been a little bit grim out there, Mike, on this Monday for Northeast Ohio. Temperatures have been on the circle bus across the area yet again. We got a lot of white stuff still blowing about as well. Winds are coming down, though, which is excellent news. Surface temperatures now at or around 20 degrees. You can see their lakeside in the upper 30s right now. Teens still inland. Worcester and also Millersburg, 20 degrees for you, Akron and also Canton. You can see there we're still on the leading edge of this and we're trending towards the positive side 5 to 10 degrees warmer from 24 hours ago and this is exactly where we like to be however the feels like temperatures are still in the single digits. We come close to those double digits once you get towards Lakeside and regionally. We're also trending warmer as well. We've got 40s and even 50s back on the board for the Tennessee River Valley area. Still some 30s there freezing mark right now in Boston, so not quite as chilly for them. This is still a lake effect enhanced event as far in terms of snowfall. Uh, across the region and specifically the Great Lakes region as well. On the lee side, you can see of those lakes, we do still have some of those Great Lakes snow showers, but there is good news though. OK, I'll move out of the way so you can see it. That warm front right here. This is what we are expecting here over the next 24 to 36 hours that will elevate our temperatures. As Mike was just saying, we get much warmer by the end of the week. A delicious warm up is what I'm calling it. We close out 2022 on a positive note but also open up 2023 on a positive note in terms of temperatures. We'll talk about precipitation coming up in a wee bit. Isabel and Mike. Ooh, a delicious mm. warm up. OK, we'll take that one, Jason. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, all across the country, slightly less delicious here. Holiday travel. It yeah. has been impacted really severely by the winter storm. Neil Fisher has been at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport throughout the day talking with travelers there. Neil, I trust everybody's in a great mood and everything's running smoothly. How's it going down there right now? I think a lot of people are happy to be leaving the airport, but some passengers told me that they experienced so many delays and so many cancellations. They were in the airport or on a plane for more than 24 hours and then finally arrived here to Cleveland Hopkins. They're not too thrilled. They waited in long lines throughout the days to see if their bags and themselves would make it to their next destination as dozens of pieces of luggage also sat on the carousels. Flight tracking website FlightAware reports that more than 2,600 flights were canceled on Christmas Day, and some of those passengers whose flights were canceled were at the airport here in Cleveland this ap afternoon. It had to be, you know, 250 people impacted from the flight I was on. The delay happened to be one colleague not present or not assigned, and so the whole crew couldn't take off, and we were waiting for hours patiently just hoping if I can get in at three in the, in the morning, if I can just get home to my family, if I can see a part of Christmas and that didn't happen. Passengers have told me that while the travel was a nightmare from waiting in long lines to delayed and canceled flights, that the agents for the airlines did a great job and were patient with the customers. Many of the passengers that I spoke with actually told me that their luggage was in uh, bins like this behind me or not even here in Cleveland yet. They said that the airlines told them that they would send it to their homes once it arrives. Oh man, what a headache. You can only hope that everyone there gets home safely and can kind of redeem a bit of this holiday. Yeah, I really felt for that guy. I've been that guy before that you interviewed and, uh, and I'm glad you're getting the perspective down there. Thanks, Neil. There's about a hundred of them here today. Oh man. Thanks a lot, Neil. Appreciate it, man.